Hi, it's Holly and I'm back again with another property tour, but this one is set to be very special indeed. Fine & Country have invited me to give me access to this 15 million pound home in Radlett, Hertfordshire. From the outside, it's reminiscent of a dreamy French chateau, but wait until you see inside, come with me. This home really does have to be seen to be believed. It's so imposing and yet so elegant at the same time. We've got these double height ceilings, they're easily 30 foot and these steel windows, they're just so impressive. I feel like I could be in a royal residence. It's got a very regal feel, especially with all of the intricacies everywhere. This property really is huge. There are nine bedrooms, nine bathrooms, and five reception rooms. And this is just the entrance hall, so we've got a lot to get through, so follow me to the kitchen. Now, I know that these double doors look big, but just wait until you see the doors of the principal suite. They are something else altogether, and I can't wait to show you, so make sure you stick around for that. We're in the open plan kitchen now, where we're first of all met by this really large seating area. There are tall ceilings and intricate workmanship again, and even two televisions inset into the wall. Not sure why you'd need two, but it's impressive nonetheless. I'm gonna be careful not to trip over this gorgeous kitty here, but there are three sets of double doors with access out onto the garden which is mirrored again on this side of the room as well with the informal dining space and i love that we've got access out onto the terrace in these kind of curved walls which is giving the home that turret effect that we saw from the outside Just off this room as well behind me is the home office in another rounded room and it's got this beautiful galleried space which would be perfect for a reading corner. And then we come through to this marble kitchen with tall pillars on either side giving this room some beautiful symmetry. I love that when you look at it straight on, it's so symmetrical and gorgeous. We've got high specification appliances with the Wolf oven here and the Sub-Zero fridge freezer, but it's all built in to this wood cabinetry, giving it a touch of the historic feel while keeping modern as well. And that's going to continue throughout the whole home. We've got electric blinds, underfloor heating, air conditioning, and it's all controlled through tablets throughout the house. So I called the dining area in the kitchen the informal dining because this room is just about as formal as it comes. I would probably call the decor in here overstated. It is a real show of taste and luxury. There's even gold on the ceilings and the ceilings as well, you will notice, are lower than the rest of the ground floor, which I think is perfect for this room. It makes it feel much more intimate and I can definitely imagine having a lovely five course meal in here prepared by a chef with accompanying wine for each course. Remember I mentioned those huge double doors to the principal suite? Well, it's time to check them out. Just through here is the biggest bedroom suite I've ever seen. Can you believe that this is the entrance to the principal suite? It occupies the entire wing of the house and these doors are 20 foot tall, which is just insane. And this has definitely taken the top spot for me for my favorite bedroom ever. The other contender is of course that suite in the estate in Windsor. So I'll link below so you can see that and comment and let me know what you think.
In this entrance space to the principal suite, we have got two dressing rooms as well, two separate ones, both in cylindrical towers. And then on one side, there are the showers. And I say showers plural because there are three. There are three WCs as well, but let's go into the bedroom first. I just love when we get a downstairs principal suite because it usually means garden access and this bedroom is no different. Just imagine waking up in this huge four poster bed, opening up these four double oak doors and just enjoying the breeze in the morning. There is also a raised seating area here and I love that we've got this separate space from the rest of the house so that you can enjoy this area in your bedroom away from everyone else. And it feels like you're in kind of a suite at maybe the Dorchester with these opulent curtains and another gorgeous fireplace. There is also a WC in this bedroom, so no need to traipse across the entrance in the middle of the night, but there's more to see, so come with me. So this bedroom suite has not been done by halves as you would expect. In fact, it's double because there are two en suites. The first is a very modern space with a rainfall shower, marble tiles, a steam room, and the other is something quite different altogether. This bathroom, by contrast, feels like a traditional spa. We've got hand-painted walls, intricate mosaic in the dome up above. It's truly spectacular. This is a place where you could just unwind and relax. There's even speakers built into the ceiling so you can have that spa vibe for your very own bathroom. There are two more bedrooms on this floor, both are en suite, but the next room I want to visit has been handcrafted with 16 panels to create a very unusual octagonal room. Welcome to the home gym, a space which, I'll be honest, I do not frequent very often. And so for me, I would take full advantage of these double height vaulted ceilings by creating a gorgeous garden room, perfect for entertaining. So this window here and the opposite window is actually a door that can open all the way up. So this would be a great space for enjoying the garden without that evening chill. There is also a kitchenette and a WC. So really it is the perfect garden room space. Now that's all of the ground floor completed by the home gym. There is more to be found in the basement though. So let's take the lift down. This next room is a room I always get excited about on tours. Normally when we get to see a home cinema, it's an extra reception room with a large sofa and a projector, which of course is brilliant, but this, this is a home cinema. There are 13 reclined seats, all on raised levels, so everyone has the perfect view. There's a huge screen, surround sound, and everything is controlled with a handy little tablet in the middle of the seating. Now, all that's left to do is to find the popcorn. I didn't find the popcorn, but I did find this temperature controlled wine store. I'm beginning to think that this home has got everything you could possibly need from the home cinema to this amazing thousand bottle store and of course that principal suite but what is truly enviable is the location. This home is situated on one of Hertfordshire's most premier and highly desirable roads and is within walking distance to the excellent amenities of Radlett High Street with its many shops and restaurants. The area is also well served by a number of outstanding schools. 
There is also easy access to the M1, A1M and M25, making this home great for commuters. The mainline train station, which is within walking distance, can take you direct to London St Pancras in under half an hour, while Watford Junction Tube Station is just five miles west. This wonderful and private home sits on a plot of over an acre and at the rear there is this gorgeous manicured landscaped garden, mostly laid to lawn although there is a lovely pebbled pathway all the way around. So the garden is filled with marble statues, waterfalls, a water fountain, palm trees, it's definitely got that Mediterranean feel. The outside space is very private, making it perfect for enjoying al fresco dining on the patio leading from the kitchen. There's also a barbecue area with outdoor heating and space for a hot tub and plenty of seating areas outside. This prestigious road is patrolled by security and to the front of the property there is a carriage driveway behind wrought iron electric gates. There are four floors in this home. We've seen the ground floor, we've seen the basement as well, and much of the second floor is loft space at the moment. So now we find ourselves up on the first floor where this area has been changed into a games room. I love that they've made use of this landing space. And I also love when you get to have a mezzanine level to take in a whole new angle of the ground floor below. There are six bedrooms up on this floor, one of which is split level, and I'll take you around that one later. So it brings us up to a total of nine bedrooms in the property. So let's head through to the guest wing now. This section of the home is really handy. It's completely partitioned off from the rest of the house. You can access it either through the door we just came through on the first floor or up some stairs accessed via near the garage and the utility room. So this space would be great for visiting guests or even live-in staff. There is a full kitchen, this sun-soaked balcony area, a WC and then down the corridor, two bedrooms, one with an ensuite and the other with an amazing balcony. Coming from the guest kitchen, we come into another double bedroom with an ensuite and a lovely balcony overlooking the garden. So the guest area could become three bedrooms or you could lock that door off and keep this bedroom as part of the main house. So let's head back to the gallery landing. Back up in the games area now where we come past a huge life-size stuffed bear. There are two more bedrooms on this floor, as well as an office space with the most perfect view out onto the garden. That's definitely where I would be setting up my work from home space. We then come to this walkway over the entrance hall. And if we come past the coat of arms, we visit our last bedroom in the tour. By contrast to the rest of the home, this room feels very modern and minimalist in its style. Feels worlds away from those marble pillars downstairs and the beautiful chandeliers, doesn't it? It feels like you've stepped in to a separate annex. It's flooded with light. We've got a fantastic seating area down here, but let's head up to the sleeping area on the second floor. I just love the use of glass up here, even though it's a little bit scary to walk over that section for me, but it helps to keep that sitting room lovely and bright, letting the sunlight come in. There's another walk-in wardrobe in this bedroom and an ensuite, which is lovely and modern to really complement this bedroom suite. There's even two mini terraces. So let's go outside and check out the view.
This home is without doubt the finest home I've ever visited. It's got a sense of magic to it. One second you think you're in a French chateau, the next a historic English farmhouse, and then the next a London townhouse, modern and contemporary. The eclectic mix of style has been superbly executed. So Fine and Country post property tours every single week. So make sure you're subscribed to the Fine and Country YouTube channel. Like this video, comment below, could you live here? And I'll see you next time.